So on um, this example, ladies and gentlemen, now you guys can see we have, we have a parenthesis, right? So we have applying distributive property, but then we also have this term. The most common mistake students will do is they'll say this times this times that, right? You got to be very, very careful. This number outside the parenthesis is only multiplying to the terms inside the parenthesis. This is subtracting 10x, OK? That is not inside the parenthesis, so we do not have to multiply 3 by it. OK? Very, very common mistake that a lot of students will make. Um, so now let's just apply distributive property first. So again, when we're multiplying, we do not need to have like terms. When we multiply unlike terms, Brandon, all we basically do is multiply the coefficients and multiply the like terms, uh, or multiply their variable factors or variable terms. Well, here we don't have the variable term, which is x to the 0. x to the 0 times x to the first would just be x. So, and then negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6x. Okay, so we don't need to change the variable. Uh, that's just going to remain x. And then negative 3 times 5 is a negative 15 minus 10x. So now we have an issue, though, because we still need to simplify. And we have negative 6x minus 15 minus 10x. So I want to remind you guys of a couple of situations. 5 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 5, right? Everybody would agree with that. Now, if I include some negative signs, we can do the same thing, but it's very important that if we're going to reorder them, that we keep the signs the same. For instance, 5 minus 3 is the same thing as negative 3 plus 5. So you can reorder things, just make sure the signs are the same. That's a positive 5, that's where I wrote plus 5. That's a negative 3, that's where I wrote negative 3. OK? So as long as you keep the signs, you can reorder them. So these are my only two like terms, correct? So you, do, you guys don't have to do this, but as far as when watching students make mistakes, I think if you reorder them, it just becomes a little bit easier to do the math. Now, these are like terms, right? So we keep the like term, which is just x. Negative 6x minus 10x is going to be a negative 16x minus 15. Anybody have any questions? Yes. Got it? Well, what's your question? Um, 